Howdy! Mike McGuire here from my home in uh, North Edmonton. Sorry, I gotta, I really gotta finish painting that door. I, I've been a little busy the last few months, but um, yeah, it's only a two-year job. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm here today as uh, program director and uh, as announced afternoon drive host for 93.1 The One. My apologies to friends and uh, former colleagues who've been asking what I was doing. I told you I was doing the morning show because, frankly, it's still radio. We want to have some fun and give you some surprises. You don't want to see the end of the movie when you first walk in, right? So, first of all, uh, as PD, I want to uh, welcome Sean Burke to the radio station again. We are thrilled to have you, man. And, uh, you know what, I couldn't picture a morning show without Sean Burke, to be frank. So, uh, we're looking forward to having you take over that spot. And uh, really just set our uh, little station on fire. As for everyone else listening right now, um, I, I'm in my home, which is near Rexall Place. And I've actually been listening to us on the stream at 1FM.ca, like most other people in Edmonton, especially in Sherwood Park, because uh, our signal shouldn't be reaching us here. And I just tried my radio just for fun to see if it would work. And lo and behold, you're hearing it yourself, right? And I think part of it actually has to do with the tuner. This is what our engineers explained to us. Uh, our signal, if you look at this map here, our signal actually pushes southwards, south and west. That's kind of where it was approved to go. And as you can see on the map, it's supposed to get kind of blotchy in Edmonton area, which is the case. However, listening to the radio works two ways. We send out the signal, and again, we're a 5,000 watt station. We do not have a lot of power. But we send out the signal, and then you have to have a tuner receive the signal. And some tuners, frankly, are just better than others. I'm surprised because I did not pay a lot of money for this uh, this wonderful little CD radio system here. But it does have one of these um, kind of antenna gimmicks that wires out of the back. And while it's a little aesthetically unpleasing, it uh, lets me listen to my radio station, which is pretty awesome. So that's the story with that. And, um, you know, if you're actually catching us on the back end, as you can see by the diagram, it's kind of a bonus. And I know myself and Sean, we are so thrilled that we have so many people that used to listen to us that are, are thrilled to be listening to us again. We can't wait to talk to you guys. So, again, if your tuner's not working for you, we will have apps for your phone. We will have live streaming always at 1fm.ca. And hopefully you can pick us up. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for your support. Do us a favor. We don't have these big corporate budgets. We don't have, you know, a ton of billboards or advertising or stuff like that. We're doing what we can with what we got. And so we need you to help us spread the word. Folks, as always, thank you so much for once again letting me do what I do. And we can't wait to come at you. Full board, April 16th, 9.31 a.m. Hashtag the one is coming. Until next time, play safe, drive safe. Uh-huh. Be seeing ya.